Let me see how these circus boys are doing over here. One of the real uh, cool things about this bike is the so-called floating gas tank. I know that uh, Jim really hasn't done anything like this before. I'm looking forward to see, you know, exactly what that's going to look like. Uh, you know, Jason got this uh, flame tank already for the wiring bike. It's basically flames in space. What we did was take one of our existing gas tanks and uh, we're cutting the flames out of that on the five axis. First thing I started off doing, Pete and I decided that uh, we better fill it up with sand first so that every time it pierces through, since it's a small contained vessel, that the jet doesn't cut out the other side of the tank. You gotta use like the wettest stuff that you can. And then just keep shaking the tank to help it down. We're making sand castles. Let's go see if we can make a mess here. You know, with so many cuts on so many different axes, there's plenty of room for things to go wrong on this one. We'll give her a go. Jim, let's cut the tank, all right? Let's cut the bull over here and cut I'm the tank, there, all right? I know. You ready? I can't guarantee it's not gonna make a big mess. Yep, look at this thing spring. That's what you're worried about. See how that pops right up out of there? Yeah. After the first few cuts, you can see that some of the flames were hanging loose and not tied together anymore. Anyway. I'm just worried about when you're riding and stuff that they're just gonna... It's a lot thinner than I thought it was. Also, the sand started oozing out through some of the cuts, which might let the jet slice through the other side of the tank. Like a volcano. I think our sand should be gone after the first cut. I'll get all I can done tonight, and in the morning, I'll finish the rest and get a better sense if this is really going to work or not. Usually, we get the whole bike mocked up before we start sending things out for paint, powder coat, or chrome. But because we're on a tight deadline, uh, we got to get the exhaust shipped out if we want to get the bike done by Friday. I decided to give some pretty severe baloney cuts on the end, uh, which I think would go nice with the flame motif. Ready? Yep. There you go. That's it, friends and neighbors. Right on, buddy. Uh, that worked out nice. But I'm exhaust makes a bike, dude. I, oh, I think yeah. exhaust the gas tank. It's a lot done today, wasn't it? We got the exhaust done. We got the rear fender cut out, shape mounted. Well, uh, we got the seat pan done. You know, for one day, man, I think we really kicked butt on the bike. We got a sharp deadline on when everything's got to go out, and uh, today was a deadline for the exhaust. And, uh, you know, as Rick's fury, like he always does, he whipped it out in one day, and it was done, and it's on the way to Kramer's. Okay, that's that. This morning, I got back to work cutting the flames for the Steve Wyrick tank on the water jet. With all the sand leaked out, Jet actually punched through the tank in a couple places. And when it was done, it was clear we had a few different problems. Since Rick's heading up this bike, I thought I'd better run it by him. Because if we can't figure out a way to fix it, I don't know if we're gonna get this flame tank to work. That'll work. Oh, wait a minute here, this, this ain't right. We were supposed to have a border. This whole thing, all the way here. Yeah, that's how it was. What's happening? Do you remember, what happened? we were gonna have that border? Yeah. Here, go into this? Mm -hmm. I think this tank is a different size than the model. Well, that's a bummer, huh? Turns out, Jason used a taller tank in his model than the one I put on the water jet. So the cuts went off the tank on the bottom. There were also some problems with the flames being loose and bouncing around, which would never hold up once the bike gets going. There's no way you could use this and just just cut it. I mean, well, I'm we already, got you. You already cut through it. We got you pretty far. You know, even though things didn't come out perfectly with the flame tank, I really thought it could be salvaged with a little patchwork. Cut the tunnel out. Let's just cut the tunnel out. Can you even cut the tunnel out? Jason really wanted to save the tank, but it just had too many problems. Uh, he definitely needed to go back to the drawing table with this one. I think it's a lot lighter, and we're going to have to somehow do something with these. You know the vibration we're going to have. Make these either crisscross into here or crisscross themselves, whatever you want to do. So we're going to go back to reprogramming it, remodel, remodel, reprogram, recut. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So I'm going to take this and. Okay. 
you know, whenever you try something new like this, chances are you're just not gonna get it right the first time. Well, but hopefully you learn from it and just get something cool out of it at the end. Bars like this. Paulie and I really didn't talk about the handlebars all that much. He just told me to do something cool. Um, so I'm just thinking about doing some zigzags or something like that to go along with the exhaust cuts. And I thought I would just try to make them into kind of like a W, like in the Wyrick logo. The really tricky part for making these bars is just really trying to get them the same on both sides. Really, since I'm just kind of like freehanding the cuts. Mm, probably should have left this a little bit longer. You building a tank for this, or you got one me? I gotta build one. Since the floating flame gas tank is totally useless for holding gas, uh, we need to hide a real tank down by the fender. Yeah, I'll probably Ta do it. Paper it into do it. Do it like a pyramid kind of thing coming up into there. Or something like that. All right, don't talk to me no more, right? Eh? Okay. For the rest of the day. All right. I've been thinking of it being curving in. Oh, yeah. Rick told me he wanted a, a hidden gas tank, but it had so many complicated curves in it, it could only be done on the air hammer, which I've never used. So I asked him to show me how the machine worked. Me, I find it easier, more control, bring it towards me. Yeah, yeah. Easy, baby. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Lee was kind of getting bounced around a little bit by the hammer. Rick makes it look so easy, but it's really a pain in the <laughs> working with that hammer. <laughs> no, I got this, man. It's just a little practice. That's it. It's just practice, you all But after a while, he really got the hang of it and got a really good start on the hidden tank. Uh, hopefully tomorrow he can finish that up and we'll be right on schedule. You know, I'm really happy with the way the bars turned out. I think they'll really go great with the whole bike. Now I just got to figure out really the best way to mount them. But hopefully I can get them to look like they're floating over the whole flame tank. Just really to go with the whole magic theme. Since the we had some issues with the first go-round of the water jet part, we need to make another one anyway. I figured we should have a meeting with Rob, our new painter, to see if there are any changes that he needs made so that we don't have to do this a third time. Where's Rob at? There he is. Hey. Thanks for coming up. You know, because we're growing so fast, we thought it'd be good to have a painter on staff. And Rob's a graphic designer as well, which brings a whole new perspective to OCC. We've got to figure out how we're going to get paint, powder coat, whatever we're going to do to this thing. Uh, the whole tank is a really interesting concept. It's, it's given the appearance of being of floating. It's all cut edges, and, and it's, it's really cool, very cool. Uh, very difficult to achieve that. As far as the cuts go, can they be adjusted? What, what do you mean? Well, because some of them just are off. Flames are, are more of an artsy thing than, than a, a structural thing. But with this tank, they're kind of combining both. So it's got to flow, it's got to be right. This has got to be corrected, this one. It's going to be a little thinner. You know, Rob had a lot of good design suggestions, which Jason will be able to incorporate into the new tank. With all the new structural changes, it was important to have the end look in mind. And hopefully, the next try will work out perfectly. So yeah. we'll make this happen again. All right, Jim, we'll get you this model as soon as I possibly can here.